Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a filter of your own that allow you to choose multiple items as such and apply the filter on your gallery or any other conditions or maybe even creating a collection from it. Now this is delegable, which means that this is not impacted by the 500 or 2000 row limit and this query will actually run uh, across and actually go into your data set before coming back and giving you the items. So you can use this query for uh, thousands, millions of rows, and it'll work to pull the re relevant information for you. So let's get started. To start off, I'll show you my SharePoint list here, which I'll be using. This is a list of all the employees I've made. And what I'd like to do is go in my Power App and filter for certain departments. So if I filter for IT, I should be able to see myself and Mad Mike, but I also want to filter multiple. So I, if I filter IT and finance, it should show me all the people under IT and all the people under finance. So let's go do that. So on our new screen in your Power App, let's insert a gallery. Let's connect our employees table. And to start off, we'll just insert a label for their name and then copy that and then another label for their department and I'll have to put department dot value because it is a choice column let me just make their department bold okay now we got a gallery of employees where we got my name uh, the names and their departments. And now let's add a filter. So we're going to add our combo box. In the insert tab under inputs, you can find combo box. And here we'll put the items to be all the choices of the um, department. So normally what people do is they actually make their own list, something like this, where they put IT comma finance and they have to spell it out and put it properly and when I click it see I see those but because we used a choice column in SharePoint you can see if I go to column settings and edit I use the choice column with all my choices I can just reference that so how you do that is use the choices function and put the list which is employees dot the column name which is a department and that will bring me all my choices for that column. And what I'd like to do is when I select, let me allow multiple selections is on, which is good, it's right here. And allow searching, uh, we don't need that at the moment. But now if I select finance and IT, I'd like to show only finance and IT here. And the limitations of this is delegation, which I'll show you. But right now, I'll, can, I'll apply a filter for this gallery. So. Let's make this a little bigger. And here on the gallery, I'll go to the items property, which you can also click data source and it'll take you there. And I'll write filter the employees. And what I want is department dot value, because it's a choice column, so you have to put the dot value, equals combo box two dot selected dot value and as you can see it's empty at the moment so when they select finance should give me all finance now the problem comes is when you try to put uh, when you try to do multiple because as you can see if I put marketing it shows nothing so some people they try to do department dot value in selected items dot value and though this will, no, actually this doesn't work right now because right now I, as you can see, if I go to the settings, I have my data row limit to one. This is the delegation limit. And if I put this to 500, which is normal, you'll see that if I refresh my employees list, it should show up. Yeah. So see the finance shows up. Let me get rid of that and put IT and it works, but I get this warning, delegation. 
So this will only work on the first 500 rows. And what it's doing is it's pulling all 500 rows, as many as it can, with my SharePoint list, which is only a few rows, and then doing the filter. And that's not what we want. We want the filter to be applied and then pull data. So let's, uh, let me go back and set that setting back to one to show you delegation issues. Let me refresh my employees list. And you can see the problem occurs. Now what I can do is how to fix this issue is I will go to the items filter in the gallery, get rid of all this, and in the items property of the gallery, we will put filter employees, comma, let's add a few lines and then put the end bracket. And here we'll put the department dot value equals and what you want is first of the combo box dot two dot selected items dot value and then you want to put the end bracket dot value at the end and that will just basically say okay give me the first one that's selected here so that's finance and it'll show me all finance and then for the next one we'll put a comma or well, actually you don't put a comma we'll put a or and then department dot value equals and you just follow this function last first n and then it's going to be combo box two selected items and then in the first n you want to put a comma we want this first two rows and then end bracket for the last dot value and here you'll be able to see I get finance and IT so simply what this does is the first function here which I went through will get, say that okay the first item finance is what it will match with and then this or comes in and says okay also if the department is equal to the second item that's selected, and that's what this function does, it gets pulls the first two items with this first two, first n, and then gets the last item, which is this IT one, the last one. And so it says, okay, it get me all employees, which equals finance and IT, which are the first and the second. Now, you'll you'll encounter this issue. It, what if they select multiple, right? Meaning many. Now, depending on how many they select and how many choices you have, you can just keep going through this process. So I'll show you what the end result will look like if I were to take into account maybe like five choices, for example, if they really wanted that many choices. So get rid of this or at the end, and we'll just put it in the beginning, or as a function, it's, a, it's you can actually use it as a function, and then separate the different or conditions as a comma. So you can see it sort of looks like this, where you have this first or and then the second or function, so it still works. And then go ahead and copy this line, add a comma at the end, make a new line, and just put three. Do the same thing, copy, and just keep going. There we go. Four and five, and might as well do six. So this is the logic you'll use. And you can see here, it's just a bunch of or statements is all it is. And it's basically saying, give me all the departments that are like this, that are based off whatever I selected. Okay, so finance, I get two. Then IT, I get two more. And then sales, I get one more. And then transport and executive. So transport, there we go. And then finally executive, right here. There we go, I got all my, all my people. And how you can tell this is being delegated properly and I'm not running into any delegation issues because sometimes even though the yellow triangle doesn't appear it's not a delegable query but this actually is and I'll prove it to you so for example if I were to put department dot value in the last first n and you can see it's all highlighted now you can see all my delegation all my logic went to garbage because now it's not working and it's only pulling the first row, me. 
because I had the delegation up here set to 1. So it only pulled the first row, then applied logic. So you can see, as soon as I added that in function, which is not delegable to my entire function that was delegable, then it became, um, then it messed up everything, and now it's not delegable anymore. Now if I turn this back to an equals, and now I should get everything back. So that's how you make a combo box or a filter that is delegable and you can have multiple selections. And of course, you can see the limitations are that you will have to build out this function if you want a lot of selections. Um, however, most use cases, people are only going to select a handful of uh, choices. They're not going to select all of them. And if they were, then of course, you would just get rid of all of the filters above, up top. And you can see, if I want to select all of them, that just merely means I want to see all of them. So let me get rid of all of them. And now my thing is empty right here. So how you fix that is right at the end of the or, just add another bracket, say is blank or is empty in this case, because the comma box is empty, comma box to dot selected items. This means nothing is selected. And as you can see, it should pull all of them. So I hope this helps you in your filter uh, and your journey and your understanding of delegations. This could be applied in a lot of scenarios to try to avoid, you know, delegation and these issues you, you receive when you hit these um, walls during your development and the business or people ask you for some things that you might not think is possible, but you realize, yes, it is possible just with a little work around. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped. If there's anything else you'd like to learn, please leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to get to you and hopefully create more videos that'll inspire you to create and develop power apps in the future.